So, good morning, everyone, and I'm very happy to be here. I am Hiromu Ochiai from uh, National Cancer Center, Japan. Which button to go forward? Yep. I'm talking, I'd like to talk about uh, the genome analysis on the cloud service. So, I know, I know uh, you guys all maybe use the cluster super machine on your local environment, but we, I'd like to talk about cloud service today. And how to use cloud? There are many ways to use cloud for gen genome analysis. And maybe you are very used to use the cluster because, because we have super, supercomputers and like Galaxy or CFN cluster or Elastic cluster or something like that. But there are pros and cons of using, uh, building cluster on cloud. For example, we are very used to use the HPC and also the, how, how to say, uh, for example, grid engine and the QSAP interface. But there, is, there are cons, for example, persistent static resources, it means master node or, or it's called sometimes scheduler node and API node and Q database and also file system. It's persistent resource. Then today, I want to suggest another approach for genome analysis on cloud, on-demand ETL. And ETL is very general data processing model for general purpose. And it's very, how to say, abstracting. And once extract the data from data source and co computing resources, transform that and upload the result file to another location. And if we execute the ETL on cloud, everything can be dynamic. And the computing resources can be disposable. And the file, file system can be the blob object. And it can be executed by OSAP. I implemented that that this is the command, CLI command. And for example, you have, when you have four samples, fast secure samples, and it, it, they are already located on the S3, for example. You just hit OSAP, your CSV, and your shell script. And also you can specify Docker image as well. And the security group is created and instances of there is a mistype. And four instances for each sample are launched and fetch each sample for each VM. Then fetch the common data, for example, uh, reference data or fetch, and then execute your workflow on the, each VM and upload the result files to S3 location. And also, we, we can dispose everything. And nothing remains after your workflow. And the only thing you got is the result file. This is the overall of the, how OSAP works. And you can specify the Docker image like this. But there is a problem of uh, of ETL on bioinformatics. The specific, the most big problem is the common data is sometimes uh, always huge. For example, human re reference for star alignment can be 30 over 30 gigabyte. And it's inefficient to fetch the huge common data to each VM. So, I implemented a suggest, uh, I implemented a, a EXDL. The big shell data instance are launched first and all the VM mount that. And it can be cost saving in some cases. Yeah, it, it can be executed by very easy interface.
and more information on the poster. So please come to my poster, B29, and discuss about that. Thank you.